Today is day 17 of our trip. Can you even believe that? We have a really fun day ahead of us. First, we are going with the Plucky Maidens group and we are gonna go to an amazing flea market. And then we are meeting up with one of my good friends, Roger, and he's gonna take us around town in Paris. We were gonna take a bus and then we were gonna take a taxi and now we're taking the Metro. Very reliable. We are entering the market on kind of the end of it, the back area. This is where the pricing is supposedly the cheapest. So instead of starting at what they call the top of the market, we're gonna start back here and work our way up to the top of the market. So hopefully we find some good deals. Look at this hippopotamus. Watercolor. Oh, look at that jug back there, Jesse. That's amazing. Wow. Gorgeous. And the rug behind it, too. Beautiful. yesterday because I heard remember this and the bunny rabbit and the plate. Yeah, that's so funny. Bonjour. It's beautiful. 18th century. 18th century. Wow. One of my goals was to find a olive oil decanter for on this trip. It's really neat too. Oh yeah, that's good. Wow. Oh, this market is so fun. I already love it. Merci beaucoup. Look at all the little itty bitty coin purses in there. Those are so amazing. There's a bunch of them. Oh, that little pillbox is beautiful. It's a snail. That's me. That's a happy puppy. That looks like the ones we just saw. Except they weren't green. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. That's Germany. That's a nice one. Bonjour. Bonjour. That painting's really beautiful. Set up sweet little desk and chairs. See that back at home. Oh, look at the little piggies. I think so, yeah. It yeah. comes out his little nose. Yeah. His little snout. Those are cute. I need some for the burrow that I got. I'll have to keep an eye out for some little skinny ones. And those are not gonna fit. That'd be weird putting the pigs on a on a burrow, <laughs> packing them in. <laughs> this is cute. Is that a lock? Oh that's neat. These are keys. Little elephant. Oh, and there's a little lion. 
Yeah, those are really cute. Bonjour. Bonjour. How much? Double ten euro. This. Uh, ten euro. This, this one. Ten for each. No, uh, just one. Just one. Just one. So much amazing art here too. We got this one for ten euro. It's pretty cute. Unique for sure. Little lock. Yeah, that's kind of our theme this trip, I guess. We're picking up locks everywhere. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with them, but whatever. <laughs> to the coronation chair room. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I actually got to hold the keys to the coronation chair at Westminster Abbey. He wasn't supposed to let me, but I did it. He was very nice. Pocket mirror, Jesse, to make sure your hair is looking good. Hey guys. <laughs> we have to get him, we have to get him. He's, he's a little baby one to match our other one. <laughs> That's so funny. We just picked up one of these in Portugal. What are the odds? Yeah, they're totally buddies. We gotta do it. <laughs> 10 euro, everything on here. 10 euro. Okay, let's get him. What are these? I like these. What are they? <laughs> do you think they're knife for us? Talk about too heavy to bring home with us, but oh my. Bonjour. Bonjour. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh yeah, he's a big boy. Hey look, it's my keys. table. What do we got? You roll the dice on these? This light fixture? Yeah, if you clean that up, it could be really cool. For two euro. Two yeah. Euro. But look, we got a we got a sweet chair spot over here. Oh, look at those beauties. Those are gorgeous. You guys, this is flea market heaven. Look at her. She's pretty great. Oh, this reminds me of that bear my great grandma had. One of my very first memories, I was only a year and a half old. And I remember her just like putting a carved wood bear in my face going like this. I was just a little baby. So cute. Ooh, I like pottery. Oh, it's like stone. Heavy. Yeah, France, 90. Gorgeous. Jesse found something he's gonna try to get home. Put this yeah. in the luggage. Maybe just don't even touch it. Maybe just, just in case.
rabbits. I've never seen bunny rabbit bookends. I've seen all the critters, but not bunnies. I just found a good piece. I think this is a fratelli. I'm pretty sure. But he does his girls like this. We're gonna Google image it real quick and see if this is a Fratelli piece. This is kind of neat. You guys know I love my cave art and Egyptian. It's kind of like Egyptian meets cave art. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, never seen that before. these dancing people candle holders. They're kind of weird and fun. Made in France. It looks like it's a designer in France. My guess is like 80s. So you think those like 1980s? Yeah. It's interesting because it almost looks like glass. When you look through it, it's translucent, but then it's pottery on the side. I probably feel a container. I just spent days here so easily. Next trip, 2023. Left Coast brings a container home. <laughs> That'd be fun. A whole series on how long would it take for me to fill a container. I don't think it would take me very long. I think I'm pretty good at shopping. <laughs> what should I? I'm a professional shopper, baby. Yeah. These little kitty paintings. I gotta see what other buddies are back there. Oh my goodness. If there's one that looks like JP or Lorenzo, we're getting it. Oh, that looks like my cat Smokey growing up. Oh, that's too cute. So she was saying this one is also a vintage one. And there's the designer on that. But I'm gonna get this one. It looks black, but it's actually navy blue. When you open it up, you can see the color a little bit more. It's a navy blue bag. So that will be my special little bag from Paris. I cannot get over how many of these little knife rests that they have here in France. Maybe everybody actually uses them. I'm definitely not fancy. So. We are not fancy. That is definitely a true statement. Yeah. We are very cash. Some more cave art for you. That nice little lava glaze. Saint Claude. That's great. We have officially made it to the top of the market. is from Brazil. Look how long it is. Bonjour. Is it from Brazil? Oh, he's missing it too. She's great. Oh yeah, she's got a little sass to her. Yeah, she's like a little more off the shoulder. A more? That's amazing. That's amazing. I'm so excited to go to Murano and see them blow the glass. starts with an R and I always forget what the word is, but it's like, I'm not gonna try, I'll butcher it. But that one's a cute one. I know a lot of people do collect those. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, let's get out of here. I love how much art there is, like original art. And there's a lot of mid-century, impressionist, 
and abstract art. We're just not looking to bring home a ton of stuff or spend a ton of money. But man, oh man, I can see if you were a dealer, you could just come over here once a year, yeah. pick for a few weeks, and you've got your inventory for a year. Yeah, if you're like an interior designer or like yeah. a, a home stager or something like that, yeah. you could really get a collection. You really, really could. Is that, is that the Versailles Gardens right there? We need to go look at that one. I just kind of thought this looked like it might be the Versailles Gardens. 35 euro. It's kind of neat, huh? Oh, I like that one too. But look at that. That's an owl. And it's a lamp. Is it signed? Yeah. FC. 135 1960s. Um, I kind of think that might have to like come home with us. That's one of the coolest things I've seen. I mean, we'd have to rewire it, obviously. We were talking about needing a really small lamp for on the piano, and that would look amazing with the Alvino Bagney piece. Is it Italian? I don't know actually. I think I so. Know. Let me take a picture. It's Italian? Is this Italian? No, it's French. It's French. Is it uh, La Bourne? We're gonna get the owl for a hundred euro. Merci beaucoup. We are back from the market and I'm so excited about a couple of the pieces that we found, especially the owl lamp. It's a 1950s French designer and we looked it up online as we were getting ready to buy it and it looks like his pieces go online for around 600 to 800 dollars. So not a bad deal. He had 130 I think or 135 on it and we got it for a hundred dollars. And now before I show you my complete haul, we are going to go to lunch at uh, is it Café Le Rendezvous? Something Rendezvous. Café du Rendezvous. And we're going to have French onion soup, which I'm very excited about because we haven't had that yet here in Paris. We know what Jesse was up to last night. Yeah. Carved JC right there in the tree truck. Yeah. Just kidding, he did not. <laughs> we have been looking at this restaurant every time we walk to the metro and I think we've probably gone past it like 10 times and the food smells so good. You know when you walk by a cafe or a restaurant and you can just smell what's going on in the kitchen? Yeah, that's what's been happening to us. So we're excited, we're finally gonna go here. There's Jesse. <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna go finally have a meal here and I'm really looking forward to some French onion soup. All right, let's sit where we can people watch. We're gonna go right here. This is it. This is spot. What is it you have to get? Is it this one right there? Okay. Croak. Croak? Yeah. That I'm getting the Monsieur. That's the one of the day. That's the meal of the day. Yeah. And then where's mine? It's gotta be on here. Please have it. Please have it. Oh no, do they not have my soup? This is my food. <laughs> oh man, I don't think they have it. I found it! Traditional French onion soup. Yeah, baby. Jesse got a Red Bull. I don't know what's up with that. Have you drank one since you've been in your 40s? Um, yeah. You have? Well, I'm gonna get a Red Bull vodka. You're, oh yeah, you're really gonna do that. That was back in the day. I doubt it. That's why it's funny. I think funny. it's illegal now. I don't think you can do it. It's not good for you, I'll tell you that. An upper and a downer together. I got a double espresso. We just ordered our food. And right now, we're just people watching. And this is the catacombs right here, across the street. That's what people are queuing up for over there. So, I don't think I'm gonna go in them. I've been thinking about it for a couple days and really want to, but I'm afraid I'll get claustrophobic. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. It looks so good. They even came in a lion dish for me. I wonder if it's gonna look like Rick Steves did. Remember? His was just cheese everywhere when you um Oh yeah, it's exactly how it looked on Rick's knees. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be delicious. There's bread in it. We don't even have to get bread to dip in it. That's fantastic. That's my bite. Bon appétit. Merci. Wow. Look, I got fish on mine. Some mackerel. We got some chips.
So the verdict is French onion soup was delicious, but I feel like I can go two to five years until I have it again because it was so rich. We shared one and it was still very filling. And we have now learned that you don't get an appetizer and two full meals here in France because there was no way we were gonna finish at all. And it looks like no one takes home leftovers here. So yeah, we ordered too much food, but it was good. Did you like yours? Yes. You did? Yes. My mackerel was good, but it was definitely the French onion soup that was the winner. Yeah. For sure. Even Jesse loved it. <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> well, he wasn't that excited. I was the one that was like, oh, I can't wait for French onion soup <laughs> like, in France. I like French onion chip dip. <laughs> from 1786, a marriage certificate. It's incredible. So for Lucky, oh, good luck for good luck. the bonheur. She cleaned the chimney. You oh, see? Yes. She's going to love it. Maybe she'll get ideas to make an outfit. Yeah. Is it a cat or a weasel? It's a fox, no? Yeah, maybe. No? Endo. These can be valuable. Look them up. Ooh, I see a beautiful piece of pottery over here. <laughs> Let's check this baby out. This actually kind of reminds me of one that I saw at the um, Palm Springs Vintage Market. Look, that's beautiful shape. Oh, it's playing the little flute. That's a great piece. got all the cups with it too. This is a garage sale, essentially. They have it once a year where this neighborhood, everyone brings down their stuff. Basically like an awesome garage sale with real antiques. I mean, look at this. Look at this piece right here. It's got a cool sun face on there. It's amazing. Some of the things can actually be very old here. Compared to back home, it's pretty rare to find real antiques at garage sales. You can find vintage, but not real antiques. And it's a oh, little bit broken, yeah. but it's nice. It's I love little things. Yeah. That's like miniature art. It's not not too it's much. It's not too bad. No, it's not too bad. I have just the price. Mm -hmm. This is just a paperweight. Yeah. Oh, well, this must go to the top of a cane. Yeah. First, I thought it was going to be a little faucet, but it doesn't have an opening. Yeah. So it goes on top of a cane. What a pretty little horse. Hey, do you think these little salt and pepper shakers would fit in my burrow? They're too big. Yep. What a bummer because they're really cute. Too big. Too big. Okay, we'll find smaller ones. I love this one with the carved detail. Mm. Oh, I wish I could take that one home to Michelle. <laughs> wow, look at this vintage luggage. I love that. Hamburg. Oh, the United States Oh, wow. We were joking earlier about sending home stuff instead of shipping it, mm. sending it in one of these. Can <laughs> you imagine going to the airport with something? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesse, will you carry it for me, please? <laughs> Packed with vintage. Oh, their Anna, initials. Anna Karenina. Anna Karenina. <laughs> No, it's the, he's it's the name of the owner of the suitcase. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll get that. I'm getting the 
this one for Roger. <laughs> when you when you have it out, you can think of me, and I'll I'll think of you with mine. Pop in here. Very very nice. Oh look at that! That's a cool pipe. Roger, to you. it's a great day. stop and grab a bite to eat. There are so many options, but I think we've picked this place. We got everything in here for only seven euro. We just wanted a quick bite to eat on a park bench rather than spending two hours at a restaurant having breakfast. And although they had so many delicious looking things, we just went classic. We got two croissants, we got a chocolate almond croissant, and then we got this other chocolate croissant looking thing too. So basically we're eating a lot of croissants and hopefully we can go back there tonight and get some desserts because they did look amazing. Surprisingly salty, which is good it's like sweet and salty i got like a chunk of salt it's really good it's not as moist as a lot of them that we've had but it's pretty darn good you can't have a bad croissant here in france is what we've figured out so far so i think i got the chocolate one of these it's like an almond flour and we're gonna break this open and see what's inside oh yeah that's chocolate yum you see all that chocolate in there this is gonna be a good one the almond chocolate one was amazing but we're full so we're gonna save that one for later now we're gonna head to the museum <laughs> Now 
we're doing video? You look cute. Your hair's kind of blown away. <laughs> yeah, you need a haircut. <laughs> he normally gets a haircut every two days back at home, so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> every two weeks. So he's been saying how bad he needs a haircut because it's been three weeks already. 18 days. Holy cow. Bunch of people to wave. I was waving at them. <laughs> a lot of them wave back. How old do you think that one is? It's yeah. Some of them. Oh, this one says 2015. Some of these are oh, a few years. They do. They cut them off, I believe. Because look, I mean, this is insane. All these are 22, 21. Can you imagine how fast this fills up with locks? out our route. We know we want to see this dude right here, Mr. Vincent Van Gogh. And the Renoirs. Yes, and that's where my kitty painting is going to be. Is five? So they're both five. Oh, wonderful. Um, we want to see some Monet's. Monet's are down here on zero. On zero, okay. So do you want to start with zero? Yeah, whatever's just, the most efficient it's works. Not as big here as like the loop. And we're not in a rush. We've got several hours. Yeah. As long as there's no emergency that kicks us out this time. Look at that kitty. Who's that? I've never seen that one before. He's got some lots of legs. Yeah, he's very he's tall. Scared or something. Yeah, maybe. I like that he made the cut with like the most popular pieces ever. <laughs> this is like the cat that saw himself in the mirror. Yeah, oh my gosh, remember when Lorenzo <laughs> saw himself in the mirror the first time? <gasps> I have to insert a picture. He was so funny. This is an old train station and you can absolutely tell. Gorgeous. Good vibes here. Everyone seems very happy. Everyone seems stressed out at the loop. Her tear looks so real. We're currently in the realism section. out probably I don't know eight nine inches from the wall it's amazing she's not my kitty painting but we found a kitty painting mm -hmm. the real deal I've seen this copy in thrift stores over the years it's pretty unreal seeing the real thing I wish my sister was here with us for this museum my niece's middle name is Monet Milani Monet I'm loving the mix of patterns you got this beautiful wallpaper Gorgeous rug. She wasn't on display here. We just came around a corner, and there she was. 1887.
here. That is amazing. Wow. If I ever saw a mirror that deserved to be in a museum, that's it. That's incredible. Babe, can you build me one of those at home? <laughs> not. Maybe you can find one at Goodwill. You know what? Maybe. Someone did just find a Roman sculpture, so at Goodwill for $34.99. Did we just enter Rivendell? <laughs> this is incredible. Oh wow, look at this, look at the curve. Look at that shape, you guys, look at the shape. It's amazing. I was trying to get a really good shot of their really cool metro signs that look very graveyard font. And I didn't get the best shot earlier, but who knew, there's gonna be one here in the museum. That's cool. Look at these doors. Wow. It's incredible how pristine all of this stuff is in here too. Well, obviously it's a museum, but there is such a thing as museum quality. I really think Peter Jackson took some uh, inspiration from the Art Nouveau period for Rivendell. It's actually pretty small. It's probably like uh, 12 inches across by maybe 20 inches tall. Pretty sure that's what that says. That's his name, Le Cat Blanc. It's pretty cute. boat has arrived. They're unloading right now with the passengers from the previous boat tour and it's approximately a 90 minute boat tour so we're pretty excited and it is the perfect time of day to do it. Look at the sun. It's going to be a beautiful evening. a wrap for Paris. We will see you guys in Dijon, France next. 
and then we're off to Switzerland. This is our very last ride on the metro in Paris. And we're kind of sad because, I mean, we've gone all over, taken so many of these lines over this last week and a half. It's been really fun exploring. We're gonna definitely come back and explore some more. I'd love to get into some of the suburbs too and find more flea markets. working on getting all of my finds packed up and I actually brought some bubble wrap with me. In fact, one side of my full-size luggage was either filled with gifts for my friend Roger or bubble wrap. And so I pretty much have this whole side available to put things in. And then we also have two extra bags that we are going to be bringing as carry-ons that I can fill up. And I already sent home an extra luggage with my sister when we left London. So that's how I'm getting all of my things home. And look, my friend Roger, also gave me some extra bubble wrap. Isn't that amazing? And I have to show you the sweetest gifts. Roger is one of the most kind and giving and just wonderful friends in the world. This is the double camel from the Noah's Ark Lisa Larson series. And this beautiful Batosi candle holder. He is such a sweetie and he knows what I love. So another thing I did was I bought some of these. I actually got these on Amazon. I think it was only a few dollars for 12 of them. And and they're just little bags with zippers and I brought a bunch of these so that I could separate jewelry instead of having them in a bunch of plastic bags where they might get tangled up. I can kind of sort things and keep them somewhat organized and that way I also know whenever I see one of these bags somewhere in my luggage it is going to be jewelry and typically what I do when I fly is I actually take the jewelry with me in my carry-on. That way I've just got, you know, a close eye on it. A lot of times they want me to pull it out when you go through security, especially if there's like a squash blossom necklace. When they go through the x-ray machines, they usually don't know what that is. So I usually have to pull it out. So that way it's all accessible and handy and I know exactly where it is. And I also had a couple extra bags just to sort things. One thing with packing is you want there to be no extra room. So you want everything to be nice and snug and tight. Obviously with proper bubble wrap around it, you don't want a lot of extra room. So here, are some of our flea market finds. This has to be the winner for today. How amazing is this owl lamp? So we got our birds in flight sculpture a few months back and because of the way that it's sitting above the piano, we really wanted a light to go there, but it needed to be really short. We were kind of thinking we may end up getting one of those little mushroom lights. And when we saw this, we knew, nope, this is it. This is the perfect piece to go there. It's nice and short, and the colors on the pottery are gonna go really great with my Albino Bagney pieces. And it's just so cool and unique. It's a French designer piece, and we were very excited to find several things that were French. When I first saw this, I actually thought it was Italian. And I thought that this was an Italian piece too, but this is also a French pottery piece. So I got that one for 15 euro. And then he had 135 euro on this and they sell online for between 600 and around 800. And we ended up getting him for 100 euro. So that's about 110 US dollars, I believe. And he's special. He's something that we're gonna keep forever. And then I got myself a beautiful vintage French handbag. Cause I feel like you just, you have to have a handbag or a coat or scarf or something something when you're you know in Paris you've got to pick up something to take home this is kind of fun I actually was looking at it before I realized that it was a snake and I just loved all the panels on it it is also made in France so I was very happy we found some things made in France here because you never know when you go to these big flea markets if they're gonna have stuff from all around the world and obviously we we're hoping to find French things in France so that's kind of neat I think I'm keeping him too he actually is really great because you can make him quite adjustable so you can have it higher weight and just go a little bit tighter because the little snake bites and locks onto pretty much any of the panels right there on the end. So quite adjustable. I think that'll be a fun one to wear with dresses. And oh yeah, and then we found another one of these. So obviously we had to get it. Not that we need two, but it was just so funny. When you look at this one, you can see what the two little eyes were supposed to be over here, but it definitely looks like something else on this one, which kind of makes it funny. 
So we've got a little matching ones, one found in Portugal and one found in Paris. What, three days apart? What are the odds? They're just so silly and fun. So I think I'm gonna just display those in our basement with our bowl collection. That'll be fun. Anyways, yeah. It was amazing. We had a great time and we're super happy with all of our finds. Although I don't think Jesse actually. Jesse, have you found anything? No. Nope. Oh, babe. Right. Yeah, he's very picky. He's holding out. Okay, so we will find something for Jesse probably in Italy. Maybe Switzerland. You never know. Look at this. We are getting checked out of our Paris hotel. And look at what I just spotted. Just chilling on someone's porch. I'm pretty sure that that is a Batosi rooster. Just hanging out up there with Buddha. I love it.